Welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics. So students today we are going to solve calendar questions which forms majorly a part of quant section in many of these entrance exams okay and trust me after watching this video your doubts related to cal calendar questions will be absolutely gone okay and you would be able to solve these kind of questions in one second okay or maybe even orally instantly okay. So the question, first question is, if it was Thursday on 15th July 1964, what was the day on 15th July 1965? Now please understand, see, here the date and the month is same, okay, only the year has changed, okay. Now, whenever something like this comes across, you have to understand, you have to check whether any of the given years is a leap year. Now, what is a leap year? If the year is completely divisible by 4 then it is called as a leap year okay so now if you look over here 1964 is completely divisible by 4 okay so here whenever you're going from a leap year to a general year okay obviously 1965 is a general year yeah so then the day has to get increased by 1 Meaning here the answer would have now become Thursday plus 1 which is going to be Friday. Friday is your answer for this particular question. Okay. So please remember this. Whenever you go from a leap year to a general year you add one day. Okay. Now you might be wondering achha, what happens if it is the reverse. Like if we go from general to a leap year then what happens is in that case you add two days okay so this is something which you need to remember leap to general is one day adding addition and general to leap is two days addition okay now always remember this is something which is like a bible rule or ground rule for calendar questions if you're going ahead you are adding by two and if you're going behind or oh sorry you're adding you're in this case you're adding by one you're in this case you're adding by two okay but if you're going behind Okay, like in this question, if it was 15 July 1964 was given and we had to find 15 July 1963, then you would go minus. Okay, so behind you subtract and ahead you add. This is like a ground rule for all calendar questions. Okay, so very quickly, let's do the next one. But before going with that, I would love to remind all of y'all, if you like the way I'm explaining, then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. Okay. So now the next question is, if it was Monday on 19th of April 1945, what was the day on 19th of April 1944? Now please understand, this is a general year and a leap year. So you will do a addition or a subtraction of 2 addition or a subtraction of 2 now since we are going behind so you will subtract by 2 so here this is your monday one more day and here so this will be what sunday and here saturday so saturday is your answer for this particular question okay i'll just put it in a box Okay, so I hope you all are understanding. Just because we went behind, we are subtracting. Okay, now if the question was something like this. Let me just change the pen. Yeah. If the question was, um, let's say, from 1943, you would have to go to 1944. Now, this is also a general and leap. But you are going ahead. If you are going ahead, so you are going to add. So, in that case, your question answer would have changed to, mon from Monday it would change to Tuesday, Wednesday. The answer for that particular question would have changed to Wednesday. I hope you all are understanding what I am trying to explain over here. Also, students, don't forget, at the end of this video, I am going to put up a DIY question, whose answers you can mention in the comment section. Okay? And I will let you know whether you are right or wrong. Okay? So now you might be wondering, okay, this is fine. What happens when there is a general to general year? Okay. So if it was a Friday on 19th of June, 1973, then what day would be 19th of June, 
1974. So now if you look closely, both of these years are general. So whenever you have a general to general, you just simply have to add or subtract by 1. Okay. So now in this case, since you are going ahead, your answer would now be Friday plus 1 which is going to be Saturday. Okay. Don't worry students, at the end of this video, I'm going to make notes and you can definitely take a screenshot of that so that you can revise it when you are appearing for these exams. Okay, so now time for, you know, like more years, like if the difference is like 10 years or something like that, then what you do in that case? Okay, so here the question is, if it was Tuesday on 10th December 1971, then on what day was 10th December 1981? So in this case, what you do is how, many, how much is the gap? The gap is of 10 years. Okay. And what are you going to add to this? Now, please understand you have to count the number of leap years which are coming between 71 and 81. So basically numbers which are divisible by 4. So between 71 and 81, I think 72 is divisible by 4. Then 76 is also divisible by 4 and 80 is also divisible by 4. So how many years are coming? How many leap years are coming? 3 leap years are coming, right? So you're going to add 10 plus 3 and divide that by 7. So whatever is your remainder in that case is important. Please understand in calendar questions, you have to always focus on the remainder, okay? So basically 13 when you divide by 7, so 1 is a and you are left with 6. So you have to go ahead 6 days. So this is your Tuesday. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So basically Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So your final answer is Monday for this particular question. Okay. Now purposely I have taken another question over here. Because if you see it's the same thing. The gap is of 10 years. And you are dividing by 7. But now again while counting you will realize that there are only 2 years which are leap years which are coming in this. So if you look over here. The next leap year which comes after 61 is 64. And after that is 68. After that the number the no, next leap year which will happen is on 72. And 72 is not a part of your question. So you will just add 2 in this case. So here you are dividing 12. 10 plus 2 is 12 by 7. So again you are left with 5. So now again Monday. From Monday you are going to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So basically Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So Saturday is your answer for this particular question. Okay. Now students if you have doubts or if you want to know about questions which are in the same year. Then I have made a separate video on that. And the link of that will be available on top or somewhere in the description. <clears throat> do go ahead and check it out now uh, do let me know what is the DIY question the answer for that one uh, in the comment section if it was Wednesday on <clears throat> 13th uh, June your I will say is 2021 then what was the day on 13 <coughs> June 2020 okay do let me know your answers in the comment section and very quickly just see if it is general to general you add or subtract one if it is general to leap you add or subtract two if it is leap to general you add or subtract what okay so this is your note for this particular topic okay so that's it for today i will see you in the next video